Hi everyone, Alba here. This is going to be my solo walkthrough and guide to the Night Revels Challenge Grave Work. This will be done at level with all stars. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Warjack here. As always with these challenges, you access this crypt through the Delira's Graveyard entrance. This is a repeat of Framework. First I have to talk to Doris. And instead of getting a wand, she just gives you directions. This, out of all the quests, is the most open and probably can potentially at least be the most confusing. Yeah, I'll show you on the map exactly where you need to go. I love this map. Anyways, we enter over here at the right top corner. We need to go to the top left corner and then we go to the bottom left corner. Going to the top right corner is just so you can talk to this necromancer or whatever he is, wizard. Anyways, we've done that objective. Now we're going to go to the optional objective who's on the bottom right corner. All of these blights and stick blights, whatever they are, you do not have to kill them, but if you don't, they're going to come trailing after you and give you a high du dungeon alert. So you might want to stop and kill them, especially if you're a squishy character. If not, just ignore them and run off. Here we've got this big patch swamp. You can see it on the map. And here we have to face off against this pumpkin guy. Killing him will give you access to the ballista nearby. If you do not kill him, you will not be able to use the ballista. Using the ballista is an optional way of getting into the town. Similar to the quest, you can over there repair ballistas and shoot yourself into the town. Over here you've got this ballista that's well, already set up, but it has vines around it until you cl clear out the, this pumpkin guy, whatever he is. Vine stock or whatever, I don't know. You don't have to climb up on the ballista to use it. Here it shoots you over the town. And if you want to fall into the town, you have to turn off your feather falling. If not, you're just going to drift right above it. Anyway, so I guess I'm going to use the main entrance. This is exactly like the regular quest. The layout is the same. This also should mean that if you, for some reason, want to walk around this town and check out all the different passageways, the same collectibles you would find in the actual real quest you should find here also. Anyways, over here we've got a whole bunch of roots defending the gate. As you attack it, it will spawn more monsters. So, the sooner you beat down the gate, the better. Yeah, I'm just going to first clear out these group of monsters before I start with the gate. I don't want to have too much of this all at once. As you can see, it can be kind of overwhelming if you let two of them, too much of them live and they all gang up on you at the same time. Unless, of course, you're a caster and got some of the splash damage and like all of these quests, find it much easier. Anyways, I'm going to target all the vines on the gate. and beat it down as fast as possible. Once you beat it down, they stop spawning, so you only have to deal with a few of them. Anyways, I made it into town. That was my 
third star. Now, just like the original quest, you can go and kill Miniatars, and yeah, you're encouraged to. Again, if you're doing this for XP, your first time, and you're doing this at a higher level, this might be something you want to look into, if you've got the patience for it. I don't know if I would, but if you're just doing it for the challenge, you gain absolutely nothing from killing all these Miniatars, so don't waste your time on it. Just kill enough so they don't trail after you and give you a dungeon alert. I just wanted to say that when I was doing all these challenges, initially I was going to do them on a few levels higher. That way you could, you know, that way I could get more ingredients. Then I realized that it might mean more ingredients for me, but more time for the actual video. And you, the viewer, don't really gain anything from watching me make a longer video. So I decided to just do it at level so you can see the base amount of ingredients you get for five stars. Well, each quest has a different base ingredients. Let's see your score times one, two, or three. And then on top of that, another 10% for the level. Anyways, that's it with the mechanics for this. And here we're basically back to the exact same place where usually you hear the Medusa speaking, then you fight against the boss Minotaur with all of his minions. Anyways, here's just a boss. Anyways, now that we're done, we have to go back to Doris. Basically exactly like the original quest. And exactly like the original quest, you can use the ballista to teleport yourself to there. You don't have to run back. Again, you don't have to stand on the ballista. It will, just by clicking on it, it will position you in the right place and fire you. Splat. That's it. Five stars. Anyways, as always, if you've benefited from this guide, or if you just enjoyed this walkthrough, I'd appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. And yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next challenge. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all. Take care. Bye.